6 on WUTR. Crews from the Mohawk Valley Water Authority and the State Department of Transportation were on scene just this morning on a fairly large water main break close to the intersection of Oriskany Boulevard and Whitesboro Street. Our Jen Selig has more. Recently around the area, we've seen a few large water main breaks, but it's actually not that unusual. We get them, you know, a couple times a week. In the winter time, we might get a couple of days. Take a look at this. This water main break on Oriskany Street happened around 3.30 this morning. A little bit bigger than an, than an average main break on a side street. Fortunately, one of our employees lives two blocks away and had it shut down very quickly. It's under control now. Some damage was done to the road. Betcher says he's not quite sure exactly what caused it. Even when it's this dry and the ground is drying out, sometimes the ground will shift and cause a little, just a little tension at a joint. This one started right at the joint between two sections of main and started leaking and the, the old pipe just kind of fractured uh, as the water started leaking out of it. As you can see, a lot of hands on deck. This is going to be a project with a big price tag attached to it. From 30000 to maybe 80000 perhaps higher. We won't know until we get in and do a full inspection and see how much of it the existing pavement has to be removed that's in place now. So. Only four businesses were affected. The main is being restored right now as we speak. So uh, they're back in water. They were out of water for uh, less than eight hours. There's two lanes of Oriskany Street affected by it. And uh, with the State Department of Transportation on site, we're gonna probably have to peel back some of the existing pavement and inspect underneath it to make sure nothing was undermined. There's no need to avoid this area. There's still one lane open while you're heading westbound, and it'll be like that for the next few days or so. Reporting in Yorkville, Jen Seelig, Eyewitness News.